Welcome to today's video. If you love journaling, but you want to keep your hobby budget friendly, you're in the right place. I'm going to be working in this lovely fragments journal that I won from Helen at Moss Cottage. And it was from a course she took by Francesca Nunes. Now, I'll obviously be linking all the details in the description box. But today I want to start using this. I'm not going to be using it as my personal journal. And I'm also going to share some money saving tips along the way. So grab your supplies, get comfortable and let's create. Now this is my prompt for the first page in my fragments journal. And I'm just going to leave it there. If you want to read it, it's lovely. And I found it in my stash. It's not something I've been given. So not sure where it came from, but... I want to put it in my fragments journal. I want it to be the first thing, the first thing in there. And I'm going to make a little frame to go around it. And this is obviously the fragments journal. And I want to put it right on this front page. It does mean I'll be covering up Helen's um, start. I've got to find, a, I'm going to put a pocket for that as well. So I think what I'll do first is just make sure I've cut these big enough. Just about. <laughs> just about. We might see some of the um, card, but the beauty of this is we are using up our scraps. So it's all good. And I don't want to cover the pretty flower. This is exactly how I found it in my stash. And I, I was just thinking about starting. The fragments journal and then i found this i mean it's very spooky sometimes how things just turn up as if to say yes i want to be in that book so i think what i'll do first is glue this down it's gorgeous gorgeous saying and also it's just gorgeous paper. Came from Rock Cottage Crafts. God, goodness knows how many years ago, but it's it's that's what it says on the back. So thank you for that, whoever you are. <laughs> Don't know. There we go. And I am just using. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not going to just use that because it's not sticking very well. We are going to have to get the big girl glue out. And yes, I'm very frugal with my with my glue because it's very expensive. And what I'm doing is I've took the lid off. I use this as my um, my glue bottle and then I decant my tacky glue and I've just cut it with a very sharp knife very very carefully and I'm going to transfer my glue because I think we waste a lot when you think you're at the end there's always loads more it's like toothpaste so to get all of the glue out I cut it quite a way down Wherever the glue has got to, I take the top off, have a look. And then once it's been standing up, all the glue will have dropped to the bottom. And you can just scrape out all the glue. And if you're anything like me, you then use this little bit in any project you've got going. <laughs> Very frugal. I'll share you with the I'll share all my tips with you. I'm sure they that the manufacturers rely on you just throwing this away when you can't get any more glue out of it. Not in my house. <laughs> and now you know the trick. Not in yours either. So hopefully we can make the most of our money. 
there we go so as you can see that's pretty empty now and this will just dry the glue will just dry and we can just peel it all off it so it's just check that the inside of your pot hasn't got any big glue blobs that are going to stick. Otherwise, it does make it hard to sort of take it off again. And if you've got any sort of arthritis in your fingers, you'll know what I mean. Right. So let's have another little go at trying to get this down. Obviously, we're going to have to wait for the glue to come to the end. There we go. tack these bits down that we didn't quite get. I'm going to put my top and my bottom on. And I quite like that I've left the card because I can't, I obviously can't measure, but that is absolutely fine. And I think we'll just decorate it up slightly. What I found in my stash, I was digging, digging through like you do, and I found an old book and it was really, really heavy. And inside I found these <laughs> dried flowers in the book. Now, the purple I don't think will go, but I think these would be really pretty to add on there. Oh, I've got some more. So I can add some more. There was quite a few in the book, which was like a lovely surprise. So I think that would be lovely on there. And I'm going to keep them on. I was thinking some masking tape. Maybe we'll just grunge it up a little bit. Just we're not we're not spending any money, guys. We're not spending money. No, 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 no. This is how I just get just a different colour. You can spray it with oxides and things if you've got them, but I don't have them, so I don't do that. <laughs> I may get some. I may invest in some one day. Right, let's get a bit more ink. Whoops, sorry about my head. I've got my camera a bit lower. Right. So I'm just testing it out. And what I think is if I do this, it's a bit long maybe, and let's just test it on here and pop them in like that. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> ah, da -da. Let's do another strip. I quite like the bits that haven't got any edges. Come back. I could put some extra glue on. That might work. That might work quite well. And I've made a start. It's quite daunting starting a new journal, isn't it? Just the, but I thought that's a nice, easy, simple start to my journal. So I've got Helen's postcard, which she sent me with the journal, and I don't, I don't want to put it down as a pocket because I think, you know, I want to be able to read it. So we're going to have to make a pocket, and I'm looking at this again, you know, just just scraps, and if we. Take that bit off. We've got a nice window envelope left. So we're going to decorate that up. <sighs> right. And I have some bits and pieces. I have some some papers. And it, it's not going to be brightly coloured journal. This I'm going to keep with, with the sort of theme, which was recycled paper, things like that. So uh, I've got a few of my usual scraps just out of my um out my basket and we'll we'll just make a pocket. So 
So the first thing I'm going to do is cover the inside. And I've got this, which I think will be, which will be cool inside there. Hmm, probably do. Probably do. Find a cool bit. Any bit. Any bit. Not going to see much of it. Right, so let's just trim the bottom off that. Rips so easily because it is just vintage. And I've got so much of it. I'm going to use it wherever I can. So that will be in here. Which stitch? I think that looks quite cool in there. So pop it in first. And then that's that bit done. Come on. Which is the top. So just make sure that this bit is completely glued because obviously that's where it's going to be coming in and out your book. So you probably want a bit of glue on there. I don't worry too much about the rest. And I'll slide that in. And then we can glue up the edge. Just want some of the writing. There we go. Right, probably shouldn't glue it like that in case we get extra glue. So I'm going to try and out all sorts of different things in this journal, using up our scraps, which is, which is what I love to do. Okay, so we're just going to decorate the front. And this is how I'm going to do it, just like this. And I'm going to use my Blobby magazine. It's blobby now because it's got bits of glue on it. I'll throw this page away in a minute. Over the edges so I don't see any of that white. Oh, I do have this. I wonder if I can... Oh, I don't know if I can cut the inside of that out. That would be super cool on there. It would just fit. We'll think about that at the end. I've got some music paper. So that won't all fit. I'll go up there. So we just have to trim. This is how we trim. <laughs> it's like that. We may cut the top of this down. I know, I like to keep those bits of music as well. This is vintage music paper. I've recently got quite a good haul from my car boot. I was a bit cheeky. She says, how much do you want to pay? And there was a great big bundle like that. And I went, £2? And she went, OK, I don't want to take it home. I was like, bonus? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Then she said, yes. You know, sometimes you're just cheeky and it pays off. That was definitely a bit of a cheeky one. This is just old scraps <laughs> that of. There we go, that works. Just about. That of. Coffee dyed. You just plain coffee. Wiped it on with a paintbrush. Sometimes I dip, but it's just so much effort and it gets really, really wet. So I like to just put mine out on the table and just paint it with a paintbrush. A big paintbrush like that takes no time at all, guys. Just going to... Oh, no, it can't go up anymore. It might cover that. Right, so I've just got this little corner. And I do have this vintage page that looks really cool if I could get that on there like that maybe we'll take the bottom I don't want to cut this one too short now that's what I want to do is I want to get that into there like that I think 
I'll just take the top off. And that way. I'm thinking maybe up to there. Again, I don't want to waste my glue. Now, it, we are going to have to trim that because obviously it needs to fit in the book. So we'll just trim them bits off. I'm not worried about the bottom. That can stay. That can stay like that. So, covered it all up. We have stuck. Hang on. That's just where I've put that. That's not glued on the inside. Tiny bit here that I just want to cover up. I'm just going to pop some of this on like that. Oh, and I'm very fussy because I've got to have the music paper the right way up. Now I could have grunged all these edges up, but I didn't think of that. I was just so keen to get started. And I'm going to trim along the top because, because now I can't do. Um, any sort of dibits because I haven't got a circle punch anymore so what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to do, do our own sort of oh I know what I have got let's try this I do have like a square punch so maybe we'll have a we'll have a go and do it square instead and we'll just oh Maybe we should have waited till the glue dried. Oh, right. I'm just not strong enough. I like that little bit. I might keep that. <laughs> I think that will do. And my little, my little tuck. Okay, so we're going to glue this shut. And then I'm going to find a way to put this in on. So I'm thinking maybe we try and cut it out. I've got my knife. I've been doing some collaging. That's why my knife's out. And if we can do some sort of... You can do this with scissors if you, like, if you haven't got a really sharp knife. It's a lot easier on your fingers, I think, to cut. <laughs> I do find this makes my hand ache after a minute. But I like the clean edge at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fuss too much. I'm just going to go round in sort of a, a wavy sort of line like this. And I think these bits actually cut. This is like a failed die cut if you know what I mean we know when you put them through and they don't work I don't throw them away I've just coffee dyed it <laughs> I think what I actually did was just rub some of this distress ink over the top well, I've coffee dyed some of them never waste anything if it goes wrong you can still use it so that's not bad put the knife away Carol Where's your envelope gone? What does it look like if I did that? Let's just cut some of that edge. Oh, no, we're not going to cut because my cutting skills are not very good. I'm just going to take... I'm, I'm probably not going to ink everything in this journal. I may do some of it. That's quite like it that way. It's a bit big. Oh I've got to try and cut I'm gonna to have to cut because I can't I can't rip that. It's too small. 
So we're just going to cut really carefully, right up to the edge. Is that enough? Nope, we've got to cut really carefully on this edge as well. I'm determined to use it. I don't know if it's working though. I may save it for after all that. We're going to save it. So we do need to decorate this up a little bit. So I've grabbed my bunch of scraps and I do have these that I cut out. Um, and I've got some, this is some more that died and went wrong, but I've kept them because they're all the numbers, which are quite cool. Yeah, that needs, oh, there's the coffee dye side. I'm going to pop it, pop this card in so I can see. I may have to put something on it on the outside, but that looks kind of pretty. Oh, look, the flowers just come. Just peeking through. We can push that back like that. In fact, we can push all of them back. Make it a bit more, make it a bit more grungy. Oh yeah. Now, you see, I said I'm not going to ink, but in reality, probably will. Don't, 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 don't stop. So, what about these? We can put these on. Do we need a focal point? I don't think we do, because I'm going to put that inside. I'm going to glue these on. Just because they're here in my scraps. Um, I'm going to put them here because there's a big space there. Oop, put the bees on. And of course, when I do my butterflies, <laughs> I cut the antenna things off because I can't cut them out and they look silly. So I then draw them back on like this. That's all you need to do. We're very, we're very fussy. <laughs> we, don't, we don't, fussy cutting is one thing, but really fussy. No, thank you. I don't do that. So what I need now is some words to go on there, I think. And then I need something inside. Oh, it's never ending, isn't it, when you're doing them? When you're doing a collage, there's always another bit that you need to do. So I'm not sure. I can put this on. quite like that. I'm going to pop them on as well. And I may add a bit of lace at the bottom. I'll put them on there. And because they're cut like that, they've ripped, they'll go round the corner, which is quite cool. I like it. Right, so I need some words. I'm, I'm, fuss I'm fussing with that. And I may just colour these slightly as well. Right, so I've got my big box of cut out words from magazines. That's always always a fun thing to do. Sit in the evening, cut your magazines out. Gorgeous you. Humble, simple, modest. I quite like that as well. Let's have that. I just cut out anything that looks like I might use it at some point. And I think what we'll do is we'll rip them out to make them look, you know, in keeping with our, with our pocket. And you can just keep adding. It's like knowing when to stop, I think, is, is the, um, the, the, 
key to these um, collages. You can just keep adding more and more. Okay, let's just move them out of the way. Don't want to look at them. Um, and I may ink just the edges of these because they're a little bit white. A little bit. Now I could back them. And if there's going in a proper journal, I probably would. But it's, it's just my my little playtime. And where are we going to put them? Let's put them down there. I don't know. Wherever they end up. Let's not plan it. Let's just pop them on. Something like that. As long as I've got enough room, they're going on. I do think I do need to go round the outside of this. Looking a bit lost on the page. So I'm just going to use the pen that I've drawn them with. Should we go around these? Oh, maybe we'll just go around the body because those legs, those legs. They were a bit, they were a bit wobbly. I don't think I've got enough glue on them. We'll go around these, just like the wings. If I want to add a bit of colour, I can do that as well. So I want something on here, which has got to go sort of. <laughs> it's no good putting my finger on there, is it? <laughs> so just underneath the flowers. I know it's the wrong way round, I'm not worried. So I think something like that with some writing on would be lovely. So again, I can't have it that white so it needs to be slightly and back in the words for something let's dig to the bottom where the little where the little ones are oh I could just put that one how about that like that we can save that sometimes you just find what you're looking for I forget what I've got in there until I go in and get it. We could put this on. I think that goes really nicely. I've lost the glue, guys. There we go. <laughs> so just a bit of a process video. And a bit of a thank you to Helen for the journal. If you want to make one, um, I'll leave the link for he to Helen's videos where she's made them this this one in particular this one she made this one and i won it so pop over and see i'll link the actual video where she started making them and i'm sure that she can um she'll direct you to the re the next ones oh that is not sticking why are you not sticking so i'm gonna pop that in you're gonna behave yourself gonna do a bit of a on there you're going in there look at that perfect might put a tag on yet don't know and am i going yeah i think oh no i've got some gap i've got some space at the top right i'm gonna oh oh got some space right where's the rest of this that we had I know I had some more, but I didn't use it all up. Oh, we can use this. Let's just use this. I was going to put the pink bit on. I can't find it. I know there's a bit more. I might add it. I'll cover up the page underneath. I'm going to lift that up. Okay. 
and then we're going to glue this down. I'm not going to make another pocket or anything. I'm just going to glue it. You're not going nowhere. Yeah. I've found it now. Just to continue that over. So what I might do is take take some of this. I could cut it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> We are just going to rip it into a sort of shape, a sort of shape, not a big shape. Oh, not like that. I don't like, I don't like the sharp edges. You know what I'm like, don't like the sharp edges, don't like corners. And just so it matches that page there, mm, that's maybe too much. We're going to pop that on just so it's like continuing across, trying to make my pages cohesive. Oh, that looks better. Maybe we'll have it coming out of that side like that. And there we go. Okay, so I'll just grab a bit of lace. Just going to finish it off. Just take the white. I'm just putting this on top of the lace just to take away the stark whiteness because I don't think it will match. And that's going to be way too big. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it up a bit like this. And then we're going to staple it on. Because I don't think that's going to stick with very well with my glue and it's going in now it's finished <laughs> thanks for joining me guys i hope you've enjoyed it hope it's given you a bit of inspiration to get started on just gluing for the sake of it and using up your scraps i'll see you all very soon bye <laughs>